<laughs> Life in the lab, possibly yours sometime soon. The state of New York is now considering a dramatic expansion of just how much DNA it will collect. Get arrested for anything, and they just might want a sample. I propose we expand it to 100% of all crimes. Let's provide justice for all, and let's be the first state in the nation to do it. Critics are already sounding the alarm. My worst fear is that innocent people will go to jail uh, based upon mistakes made because we have an overburdened system. Proposals like this make you feel like we're living a little bit in a uh, CSI fantasy. There's your real-life CSI. The scientists in this room have solved everything from burglaries to serial murder by comparing crime scene DNA to the DNA database. The question we face now, how large do we want that database to get? It's been our experience that the uh, when the database has been expanded, it's been very useful in identifying very serious criminals. Criminals like Francisco Acevedo, set to be sentenced next week for serial killings committed 16 years ago. He was ID'd in this very lab. Some suggest the state may be drunk on its own success. No one ever envisioned a DNA database that would include uh, common petty offenses uh, like, like reckless driving. Uh, and that's exactly what the governor is trying to do. And once in the system, you're in a digital genetic lineup for some of the worst crimes imaginable. No additional money has been offered to pay for evaluating the new genetic samples. Right Civil libertarians the smell trouble. They don't really acknowledge the potential downsides like uh, error and fraud. But prosecutors see a big upside. More serious offenders, sex offenders, and other types of criminals are going to be identified, and other people who are innocent will be exonerated by the DNA. The fight over expanding the state's genetic database is on the Albany agenda for 2012. On the West Side, Lou Young, CBS 2 News. Well, the California driver never